Hello, beautiful people. How are you doing? Hello. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, there's the family right there. Yes, thank you very much for checking me. If this is your first time of checking out my videos, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, so let me ask you this. Do you know how chiefs, queen mothers, and other sub-chiefs are chosen here in Ghana? Are you aware? Do you know? Do you have any idea? Kindly put it up as a comment and let me know. But before one is made a king or a chief in Ghana, it means that there's a group of people that have come together and have accepted to be from one ancestry. So therefore, they call themselves a community or an ethnic group. When that happens, it means that we need to have somebody who is going to, to manage the affairs of these people who have come together to say, hey, we have accepted that we come from one ancestry, so we are now together in an area, a traditional area. So therefore, we will need to select someone to be our chief or our leader. Now, before that person is chosen, usually they are chosen from the royal families. You know, the first people who settled in that area, you know, are called the royal family. So if they happen to be two royal families or three, then the leadership will be intense. So first family, first royal family would have to produce a leader. When that person dies, then we'll go to the second family and the third family. Sometimes it becomes an issue here and there. But, I mean, aside that, that is one beautiful way that Ghanaians or Africans use in managing the affairs of the country. So, fast forward. During the Wakanda One City of Return, there was a beautiful event that took place. Some members of ADDI were crowned as queen mothers and chiefs, yes, in some of the communities here in the central region of Ghana. Now, such people that are placed in such positions are relevant to the people and are relevant to the community. We can't bring a drunkard, uh, somebody who is a thief, somebody who is dishonest, that those people can't have that position. So, so far as you are chosen to be a leader traditionally in some of the traditional areas or communities, that means you are very relevant to the people. So at the event, we encountered beautiful, you know, African dance and enjoyment like, you know, you always see on my YouTube channel, beautiful outfit by Dr. Arikana and some of the members of the ADDI who were given that position as queen mothers and chiefs in these communities. Uh, also present was the paramount chief of the Ukwa traditional area. So this is an example of what I was telling you about. A group of people, we speak Fanti, so a group of people who come together or who've come together to say, hey, our ancestors came from this side and that side and that side. So we are all together as one. So we call our area Ugwa traditional area. Or normally we say Cape Coast. Anyway, so Dr. Arikana and the others were, you know, uh, given these positions. And mind you, those positions, if given, you work along with the paramount chief. So that is how it looks like. This is the paramount chief. This is the subordinate. Because there are a lot of you, the chief alone can't do the work. So therefore, we will need to have other chiefs. Sometimes we use the word sub-chiefs, but they are also chiefs. So we may have Tufuhin. So the Tufuhin is like the chief who is in charge of the security. Yeah, in charge of security. So we have Tufuhin. And you saw at the beginning of my video, somebody gave a, um, fired a shot. So that is the Tufuhin of Ugwa traditional area. And then we can also have the Jasehin, we can have Nifahin, we can have Impunto Hin. So Impunto means, in our language, Impunto means development. So that would be the chief of development. This is just to give you an idea of what really happened during uh, the Wakanda One City of Return. Enjoy the video, put up a comment and let me know. Like I said, if this is your first time of checking out my YouTube channel, 
please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And hey, Merry Christmas to all of you. I know most of you don't celebrate it, but some of us do celebrate it one way or the other. And shout out to Wadamaya. Wadamaya gained 1 million subscribers on his youtube channel shout out to you what amaya you've been supportive a lot and uh god bless you you've done a good job the first ghanaian african brother to hit one million subscribers peace <laughs>
traditional areas that you have been designated to. In your acceptance speech, he was talking about technology. We have the resources. We lack technology. So the exhortation is that we, you need to use your positions with everything that you have accomplished in the diaspora to help the respective traditional areas to lift themselves up. That is the Yeah. 